So we have pimp my lawnmower all apart. Get ready to pimp it out. Stripped it down, I cleaned it up, took all the stickers off it. I gotta go ahead and sand it, prime it. Uh, I've been getting a couple requests for candy apple green, which I don't have any candy apple green. So we're gonna go with what we got. So we got some red, we got some regular John Deere green, we got some orange and some blue and some silver. Uh, I don't know what else we got. We got white, we got black. So yeah, this isn't gonna be no fancy paint job like I do on my uh, free stores. This is just gonna be some rattle cans and uh, let it go at that. So uh, stay tuned, we're gonna get cranking. Uh, I already got a couple ideas on the short video that I posted, so uh, let's see where this project goes. Okay, so we have it stripped down, and I got a, quite a few comments saying that they like the color that it already is, which I do too. It's a pretty cool color, but it's also pretty beat up. It didn't look like it, you know, from the first video because I didn't do a close-up, but it's it's got nicks everywhere so I'm gonna have to paint it so anyway we'll see what I come up with I'm gonna go dig through all my paint I have a bunch of paint I have a bunch of car paint I got spray bomb uh, rattle can paint so whatever I have is what it's gonna be but no matter what it is it's gonna be pretty cool so Okay guys, I'm gonna get this sanded and primed up. Okay, so I decided to uh, give it a coat of blue, which I have two cans of this royal blue. So that's gonna be the first color that's going on. And then we're gonna follow up with another color. Uh, I'm not sure what the other color is gonna be yet. But we'll figure something out. I got my second coat on this, and uh, everybody asks how I paint. Uh, when I do my tractors, uh, I use spray guns. And if you look at a couple of my videos with the clear coat, uh, you can see me clear coating with the spray gun. This is uh, just a spray can, and you can get a pretty nice job out of that also. Uh, you just got to pretty much uh, know how to lay it on. So I primed the whole thing and I give the first coat uh, just the dust cover tack coat. Uh, we'll let that dry up. And then uh, this is the second coat. And I'm going to let that just tack up and then I'm going to go ahead and put the third coat on. A lot of people what they do is they will let that totally dry the second coat before they put the third coat on. And that's where you get those dry spots spots in there so what you want to do is once you get it and you just let it tack up then you follow it with your third coat but you got to be careful you don't put it on too heavy you got to watch how it's going on so you don't get no runs so what you like to do what i do is i'm going to try to do this one handed so this is a feel of paper right down here it's still pretty wet so I'm gonna let it dry a little longer but what you want to do is you want to put your other coat on and then you when you go one side with it when you come back you want to overlap about halfway and then overlap about half of the fan that comes out of the uh, out of the spray nozzle so if you go half overlap you will not get a dry spot in between but you got to be careful and you got to keep your eye on it and make sure you don't get it too heavy especially around these curves right here where you might get a sag or, or a run so you just kind of kind of pay attention to what you're doing but i do not let my coats dry completely in between coats and that's how i get that glossy finish so put your first coat on, let, let that dry up good. Let that tack. Second coat, a uh, little heavier. 
and then let that just tack up to where you can feel it on the paper but it's not getting on your finger see it's still it's still getting on my finger so we're gonna let that sit up a little longer it is pretty cold out today and i don't have the heat on so i'm gonna probably turn the heat on to get that to set up a little bit so that's how i do it so uh i'll put a couple tips in as i go Okay, so I got the chassis painted, got my new wheels on there, new old stock, got my little smaller ones in the front and in the back, hot rod it up a little bit, got the engine painted uh, Chevrolet orange, I'm gonna get the shroud painted, gas tank painted, and uh, we just keep on plugging along. And if I get all that stuff painted and on there, then we're going to get with the fun stuff. So, uh, stay tuned. Okay, so Pimp My Lomo is coming along. Put the motor back on. Got my exhaust. So now i got to figure out my air filter. i got to uh, paint my my guard here and get my handlebars painted and then we're going to move on to the fun stuff uh, really pimping it out I'm just getting it painted and back together right now and this is like I said before this is just the paint that I had laying around and all the parts I had laying around so getting there we're going to uh, keep it cranking I'm pretty anxious to see what it sounds like with that exhaust. That came off a uh, motorized bicycle, one of those kits. And uh, the motor was no good, and so I stripped the exhaust off it. I said, I can use that for something. So here you go. I took the cap off it. Uh, we might put it back on. I'm not sure yet. We're going to see what it sounds like. Okay, guys. We'll be uh, plugging along. So on the pimp mower, we're going to do a dual blade. So what I did is this is the way the blade usually goes. And these are dual blade kits for like uh, zero turns and walk behinds. And I bought a couple never tried them. I think I'm going to use it on the old pimp mower. But I had to cut the two ears off for it to fit inside here so that blade's gonna go like that and that goes in like so and then the other blade goes here and then this and then the bolt that's what it's gonna look like under there so we're gonna see if it's gonna work on the old pimp out my mower okay that's how it looks. I think it's going to work pretty good. This baby's going to have so much power, it might hover. Okay, guys, keep going along. Okay. Got the handlebars in. Uh, back on. Got the throttle cable hooked up. My air filter. Exhaust. So now what I'm going to do is I got these little LED lights and they're clear. I have a little battery here. And let's see if I get these to power on one handed. pretty bright they're gonna be my headlights and I got these orange LEDs here are gonna be my tail lights and I'm gonna take this little battery and I'm gonna make a mount and put it right there and then I'll put a toggle switch somewhere around the area put the 
tricky part's going to be to run the wires underneath without hitting the blades. And as you can tell, I got those blades on there. So that's going to be the challenge. But it's coming along pretty good. Uh, I hope I get someone else that wants to do one. Be cool. But uh, yeah, I got a couple other things I'm thinking about. So uh, we'll keep plugging along. I'll try to get those lights in tonight. It's about 8 o'clock. Kind of dark. I've been out here uh, for a while. But once I get going on one thing, I keep going. Okay, guys, I'm going to get those lights in there. See how they look. Okay, guys. A little update on the pimp my mower. The handlebars on. Throttles hooked up. Safety kills hooked up. See that battery right there. And I'll show you what that's going to do here in a minute. Which you probably can see. We've got a set of headlights. We've got some strip lights. Got some tail lights. There's the switch. Pretty cool. Let's turn the lights off, see what it looks like. All right, we're starting to wrap this project up. Uh, I got a couple more things I want to do. I think we're going to throw a little pinstripe on it and uh, then we'll see what else but uh, I want to get it finished up for the most part I'll probably add to it you know down the road as you can see there's the little fuse for the lights I wish I had a little battery box I got to find electric start self-propelled mower that has those little batteries and have the plastic battery box I gotta keep my eye out for that. And I didn't put no lights underneath because I'm gonna mow with it. So they really get tore up under there. But what I did, the hardest part was to run the wires underneath without hitting the blade. So what I did is I ran them all the way up and around, drilled some holes and put some zip ties, taped them up really well. And I started it already. I'm not going to start it tonight because it's kind of late, but it's not that loud at all. And I'm going to try to keep it that. I'm going to keep it that way because I'm going to mow the grass with it. But I bet it's quieter with that muffler on it than it is with the stock Briggs and Stratton muffler. And figure out if I'm going to do some sort of spinners on the wheels or paint the wheels. I haven't figured that out yet. So yeah, stay tuned. We've got a couple more days we're going to work on it, and then we're going to call it good. Okay, guys, we'll be back. Okay, so the Pimp My Mowers just about done, other than the wheels. Got to figure out how I'm going to do some spinners on those. It's been five days since I started this project, since I posted that video. So it's not bad. Got some pinstripe on there. Trans Am sticker. Got my lights. Boneyard garage. Got crazy exhaust. Air filter. Yeah, 
Yeah, it was a fun project. Can't wait to cut the grass with it now. Probably have to wait till the spring. Then I have to wash it and give it a coat of wax. Let me uh, set this camera up and see if I can get it to start for you guys. Not very loud, but I think I'm going to keep it that way. So I uh, did the dual blade set up underneath. Okay guys, going to wrap it up for this video. I uh, challenge anybody to, uh, to make a pimp my mower. And if you do, uh, I will check it out. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching again. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. Thumbs up. Hit that bell. Give you notifications when I uh, post videos. Tell your friends. Share it out. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, you guys. Have a good night and be safe.